I'm Andy Plummer, and I'm Chief Engineer of Lightning Technologies Incorporated. We're in the High Voltage Laboratory, which is where we simulate the strong electric fields that are produced by lightning strikes. This is a model of a Boeing 747 aircraft. Um, it's uh, electrically conductive so that it, uh, it behaves like an actual aircraft would in flight. And um, we're applying a, in the laboratory here a strong electric field, uh, similar to the electric field that would be at the surfaces of the aircraft when it's about to be struck by uh, lightning. Typical transport airplanes in commercial service get struck about once per plane per year. Our task is to determine where the lightning will strike the aircraft. We apply the uh, high voltages uh, sufficiently to ionize the air around the aircraft. That produces a spark between the electrode and the airplane. We might call that the lightning entry <laughs> spark. And the second spark simultaneously goes between the aircraft and the ground plane, determining the lightning exit point. Up close, we can see the lightning entry place on this model airplane and uh, the lightning exit location from the left wing here on the model. Since there are many possibilities, we have to run the test many times, and we reorient the aircraft to uh, represent lightning approaching it from many different directions. This is a very high voltage generator. It's known as a Marx generator. We have 24 capacitors, or stages as they are called, each one chargeable to, to 100,000 volts, so the total uh, available voltage is uh, 2.4 million volts. Once they are completely charged, they are discharged in series through spark gaps that you can see through the plastic windows here. These spark gaps fire uh, all at once and connect all of the capacitors instantaneously together in parallel. Next to the high voltage part of the generator is the charging power supply and it contains a um, transformer and rectifier unit that produce up to 100,000 volts. It takes one minute to charge all of the 24 capacitors together in parallel and the discharge happens within um, a few microseconds. The field is applied by a high voltage electrode that's uh, up here and the electric field actually is between that electrode and the aircraft and there's an additional electric field between the aircraft and the floor of the laboratory which represents the earth. Actually I've been in airplanes uh, struck uh, eight times uh, that I know of and generally yes uh, you, you can uh, see it if it's dark at night and frequently you can hear a very loud report. It's like very close in thunder. Uh, it's, uh, it's a frightening experience. In the past, there have even been plane crashes that have been uh, caused by lightning strikes. But those plane crashes occurred um, many years ago before we knew as much as we do today about how lightning interacts with the entire aircraft. And a lot of research work has been done to examine the potential effects of lightning on aircraft and come up with improved protection techniques. So that today we don't have to be worried about um, serious effects, serious hazards uh, like that from lightning strikes to uh, aircraft.